Sinbad. The monster is at least 20 times the size of the ship. We'll break the ship to pieces. Hear the captain do something. Well, I'm open to suggestions. It's a big fish spirit. That thing is ten times the size of this ship. This ship is a hundred times the size of this spirit. You do the math. Dubar, take the helm. Fruits! <laughs> Done. I'll need to torch one of those oil barrels. Excellent idea. We'll put the oil on its back. We'll light it on fire. No, then we risk the creature rolling over. It'll capsize us for sure. You have to aim the barrel at its head. When the barrel explodes, it'll hit the water head first. Shall I load a barrel on the catapult? Okay, we only have one try at this. If we miss, we fish food. <laughs> My men munch by a sea serpent isn't good point. Bend down the hatches and grab hold of anything that's solid. When that thing dives, it's gonna cause quite a commotion. Wish me luck. Done. Well done, Sinbad. Are you all right? This is rapidly becoming one of my least favorite voyages.
Find as much fruit and fresh water as you can. I'll fetch dim. harmless enough now. You talked to that bird. It listened to you. And why shouldn't he? We both share the same home, he and I. You can talk to dumb beasts. And isn't that what I'm doing right now? If you were half as quick with your wits as you are with your swords, you would have realized he meant you no harm. He was just guarding his mistress. I just want... Back off with you. Tempt any trickery and Dermot will have your eyeballs in my hand before you've the time to blink. I just wanted to... Oh, I know what you wanted, all right. Haven't I seen the likes of you in my life before? Seafaring men arriving in big ships and taking over any land and people they choose by force. I just wanted to thank you for helping me. Oh. Well. And why didn't you just say so in the first place? Have you not a tongue in your head? <laughs> Heaven knows why Master Dim Dim is any use for you, but he sent me to fetch you nonetheless. Come on. We haven't got all day. Master Dim Dim! Sin <laughs> bad my boy! <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> I see you've met my apprentice, Maeve. We weren't formally introduced. Big Oaf was about to have a go at Dermot. I don't suppose Dermot uh, provoked Sinbad, eh? Indeed he did not. He was just... being curious, <laughs> as any guardian hawk might be. Then no harm done. My dear, Sinbad and I have some things to discuss. Why don't you pack your books and then returned. Are you sure I can trust this one? In spite of his looks, he's quite intelligent. <laughs> About the company you keep these days. Everything has its reason, my boy. I assume we're leaving immediately. You knew we were coming? Oh, yes, for quite some time. <laughs> As I said, everything has its reason. You realize, of course, that this may be the most dangerous part of our journey, or any journey you've ever taken. I sense that, yes. This concerns more than just the princess's life and the future of Baghdad. I had a feeling this might be bigger than it seemed. You may not return from Turok's lair alive. I can't foresee that. You may die at any time. I'm willing to chance it. Do your men realize how dire this trip may be? Well, they know if they sail with me, anything could happen. <laughs> Brave words, Sinbad, but I knew you before you created yourself. I know what makes you tick. I wish I did. Now, Turok will put your bravery to the test. Should he win, it will be the beginning of the end for the world. Good magic will disappear, greed and evil will prosper. 
Mother Nature will be abused for profit. Hopefully, the magic that Maeve and I can conjure... Wait, wait. You're not seriously thinking about taking that girl along and her bird. You and she have similar goals in life, Sinbad. I can't betray her secrets, but let's just say the wounds in her heart are as deep as the wounds in yours. This Sinbad has great stamina. He's a dead man. So you've said, but I still think of him as a potential husband. He has luck. I'll grant him that. But now, his luck is about to run out. And that pathetic old man and his parlor tricks will not save him! Where do you think you're going? Where do you think? To the ship. Now, out of my way, Tubby. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you know it's bad luck to have a woman aboard a ship? It's bad luck to have idiots around as well. Say something about my mother. She raised a loud-mouthed son. <laughs> Welcome aboard, ma'am. <laughs> Out of my way, you little squint. Master Dimdin! <laughs> Let me take one last look at this place. You'll be back before you know it. I think not. Where's Quig? Get him, quick! Place all discarded dreams of God. Tarak. And he's only just begun. There's the stench of death aboard this ship, Sinbad. Evil has invaded it. Well, now that you're aboard, we'll drive away this evil, right? <laughs> what a cockeyed crew. A feckless prince and a would-be witch. And don't forget our knife thrower. <laughs> this is what makes life worth living. Uh, if only we could bottle moments like these, eh? Mm. Let's just pray we reach the princess in time. Three hands to starboard. Hello, my prince. Hey, Dim Dim. Dim Dim, about what happened, how I acted. That's all in the past, my prince. We were all grieving the death of your mother. None of us were in tip-top shape. Now, let's have a look at you. Ah, see you filled out quite a bit, but you haven't been eating as many greens as you should. How can you tell? Well, just look at your stomach. Whoop! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> that was
McDermott doesn't much like you. Well, the feeling's mutual. He doesn't care for men at all. Oh, I like birds. If they're cooked properly. I have reading to do. Well, I just thought that since we're supposed to have so much in common, we should... In your dreams. I just assumed you were after Turok as well. It's not Turok I'm after. It's the daughter. What have you got against her? I have reading to do. Well, if you need anything, just call. Or squawk. <laughs> I know, Dermot, I know. Look at them. <laughs> the young prince is growing up. I never thought I'd see the day. That lizard, that mirror still gives me the willies. Well, he's always sulking just because no one ever pays attention to him. He doesn't eat with us, doesn't sit with us, stays by himself. Count your blessings. <laughs> She's a pretty one, that one, huh? I suppose. You like the insulting type. Now remember, you have to create the magic within you. Go slowly at first. If you exert yourself, you will exhaust your power quickly. You will gradually learn how to create more and more magic. Your turn, Maeve. Impressive construction. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, we've yet to try it out, uh, but I have high hopes. Uh, pardon the pun. <laughs> Sinbad relies heavily on your gadgetry, doesn't he? Uh, yes. Uh, we've gotten through quite a few interesting times together. Yeah. I am a bit of a tinkerer myself. Really? I, I never would have guessed that. My skills are nowhere nearly as evolved as yours. Well, it's a. Uh... It's a hobby, really. Nonetheless, I would be honored if you took a look at a few of my toys. You brought them along? Oh, yes. They're down below, in my trunk. Uh, certainly, sir. It would be a pleasure. 
How dare you! Return my belongings immediately! Now what? Rongar stole Laughing Boy's luggage. <laughs> of the Dark Jin. I want you, Captain, if you want you and your men to live. Turn this ship around now. Not until you explain yourself, Demon. Warning you! Be gone, Demon of the Underworld! Not dead, Sinbad. He's just traveling a different path than you. You'll travel that way forever unless you turn this ship around now. Turok only wants the prince. Give me the prince and I'll let you and your men go. You worked for that sorcerer? Did you really think Turok kidnapped the princess on a whim? It's all part of the plan. I am sent to a kingdom in human form. I prey upon the young, the eager, the inexperienced. <laughs> I flatter them, make them feel important. Then I plant the seeds of destruction. I rob them of their power to dream. Soon they forget hope, forget magic. They worship only themselves and money. After that, Turok can simply waltz in and take over. And I'm off to a new land, looking again for the young and foolish. Leave me, Sinbad. Save Dim Dim. No. I've given my word. <laughs> Poor Captain. You gaze upon your own death and know it not. You see, Turok is interested in devouring the souls of men. Me, I enjoy the flesh. I grow weary of this conversation. I grow hungry. And when hungry, I grow.
Shut up, you chicken. Die a thousand deaths, you devil! Dim Dim, it's all my fault. Master Dim Dim is alive somewhere, my prince. I love him as much as you. I swear that if I have to sail to lands no man has ever laid eyes upon, I will find him and bring him home. And Mustafa? Died a noble death. Just stand there! We have less time to make up! Hard Ali on the helm! We have an appointment to keep! With Turok! Trim those sails and let's get out of here! Well done. The girl on the ship. I think I know her from somewhere. The devil take her. Curse Simbad. He has gone too far this time. Bring me the princess. You think you can overpower me, you fool? The future belongs to me and my kind. How can you believe in good when evil blooms all around you? Come, my pretty. I have to get you ready for your betrothed. <laughs> it's as if hell itself had surfaced. I don't like this, Sinbad. Those rocks could mean the end of us. It is a very tidy trap, isn't it? Welcome, Sinbad. It's a shame you've had to come this far only to lose. Adina! We haven't started to play the game yet, Turok! Please, let Adina go! <laughs> Soon, my dear, you'll meet your fate. There is a way out of this. A way that will make everyone. I'm listening. We'll spare the prince and the life of your crew if you agreed to be my friend, my close, close friend. And the princess? <laughs> She's shark bait one way or the other. Dubar, take the helm. Bruce. Catapult. Rungar. We're gonna have to think on our feet here. Follow my lead. I gave my word to save her, Romina. You know I can't break that. Get ready. I'm gonna try to get in there quick enough to get the princess out fast. How? Fly. Think about it, Sinbad. I will be queen of all Baghdad, and you will be my royal consort. There's absolutely nothing we can't do together. Nothing. 
Very intriguing offer, Romina. Permit me to don an outfit that befits our first meeting. In the flesh. You sure this will work? Uh, in theory. Just looking for something a bit more reassuring. I may disappoint you, Romina. I'm not the settling down type. Believe me, Sinbad. Life with me will be anything but settled. Enough of this nonsense. He's up to something. And frankly, you could do better than Doddle with a common sailor. No more talk. Hand over the prince or prepare to die. Not the subtlest fellow I ever met. Tell Dubar to hold the tiller steady. If he can, turn the ship around slowly after I leave. Hopefully I'll be enough of a distraction that Turok will notice. Well, get going, woman. All right, let's try this thing out. What kind of foolishness? It works! So far. A very impressive suicide. A cheap parlor trick. Don't be jealous. Don't waste your time on the sailor. Kill the girl. You are good at this game, sailor. But I am better. This is for Tim Tim and Mustafa. Kill him now, father, before he gets any closer. Don't worry, my dear. I've been doing this sort of thing for years. Time to get the hell out of here. How's he gonna land that thing? Um, I never really addressed that point. <gasps> It takes a lot of 
energy! Trust me on this one. is going to fall apart right on top of us! It'll crush them both to bits! If I've never said this before, it's been an honor sailing with you. See you on the other side, little brother. Not yet, big brother! Let's get out of here! We're home, big brother. Aye, aye, Captain. Why so sad? Turok and Romina are both dead. No. The daughter is still alive. How do you know that? Look at Dermot. He looks the same to me. Exactly. Captain Sinbad. Hmm. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Rule long and wisely, my prince. That's the only thanks that I require. And you, my princess, you have a difficult job ahead of you, keeping this prince out of mischief. <laughs> it's all yours, little brother. Thank you. Quiet, Featherbrain. I know your mistress is unhappy. Maybe a long sea voyage will cheer you both up. <sighs> the way I look at it, this world is growing a little too civilized for me. It's growing up. Growing serious. Growing dull. But out there, who knows what worlds await? And out there is our good friend Dimdim. And I promise to find him, Dermot. Of course, I need a good crew. <laughs> 